Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see which uh, WordPress builder is the easiest one to manage your websites or we'll see which one is like easy to control or easy to edit your website. So we've got a, a big bunch of uh, editors available here. We'll try to discuss uh, the features available in Elementor, DB or in uh, WP Bakery. We are trying to compare these three uh, editors and see which one is the best. So before we get started, we just need to know what a page builder is. So a page builder is nothing but a plugin of WordPress. So we all have been using WordPress for uh, one of the other websites and a page builder is nothing but an editor for uh, WordPress. It helps you to build your website easily without writing a single line of code or with a no code approach. So you can build up your site without even writing a single line of code. And it also helps you in the rapid development of your website. Rather than writing long lines of HTML, CSS codes, you can easily develop your site with just minimal effort and the work. Besides that, it's got a huge list of plugins available in it. We call them as modules. Say, for example, you wanted a header module, you wanted to put a newsletter module, or you want to create a portfolio module. So anything you have, there's an option which is available inbuilt in these editors. So that makes it really easy to build your website or easily manage them. And besides that, uh, we, these modules are uh, uh, coming up with options such as animations where you can tweak them or like adjust the uh, speed of it or adjust the sound effects to it or add up the animation styles into it. So all these are possible with the help of uh, these uh, page builders. And they help you also in uh, changing up your themes as well. Say for example, today you are having a new interface to your site with a new theme. And after a course of time, you want to change your themes. So that's also very easily possible with the help of these editors. And these are available at a cost which is absolutely free. Some of them are uh, paid as well. So in today's video, we'll get to see what are the plugins available and how easy they are to deploy or how easy to use them. So the first plugin which we are going to see today is uh, Elementor. So this is one of the best plugins which is available in the market. There's a free version of the plugin which is available. And there's a paid version available as well. So you can choose uh, the free version or the paid version. It's totally up to you. So this is totally beginner friendly. All you have to do is just drag and drop your interface module. They've got like a preset of all the features available in it. All the modules are available and all you need to do is just drag them and just drop using them. And besides that, there's a huge variety of uh, custom layouts available in them. There's a huge customizations available in the terms of uh, widgets. They brought also a lot of animation styles available on them. And besides that, they will give you the support uh, for free themes as well as for uh, plugins and everything. So all of these are available in it. So coming to the pros, I would say it's a free to use plugin. It's absolutely free. And they've got a huge list of third party add ons available to it. Some of them are free and some of them come with an added cost. You need to acquire them. And uh, the best part is that you can do revisions to your website. Say, for example, you are designing your site and you are uh, having a draft one of your site so tomorrow you want to update it so you can automatically do the updation to it so that will be automatically getting an incremental update to your page that gets indexed automatically so that's a huge pro i would say into this uh, plugin and besides that this gives you a custom code approach where there is a no code uh, approach here you can write your own custom codes as well as you can drag and drop and directly use them as well and uh, not all the plugins are uh, free in this to use. That I would say is one of the con of this plugin. You need to acquire a lot of plugins in this. So the first feature which I'm going to see here is the uh, free widgets available. The screen you could see here, there are a lot of free widgets which are available here. There are widgets available for titling or for adding an image, creating a button, inserting a video module, creating a star rating, creating a counter, and creating the hero image of your website, the carousel. So that's also easily possible. You want to create indented lists. That's also possible here with the help of icons. Then you can create testimonial modules. Then you can create accordions. You can add up your own custom code as well. You've got it's like a PHP code. Then you can directly write your uh, codes into it. Then we've got like a um, short code option is there. Then you can add up your own HTML as well. So all of these are available in the free version itself. This is This will help you to build your website absolutely free. This is like completely easier to uh, manage your site and besides that in the pro version of the plugin these are some of the advanced features which are available you've got option to share your post say for example you're running a blog and you want to uh, share your post at one go there are a lot of plugins available for that just click on a button it shares into almost all your social platform besides that we've got a portfolio plugin which is available then we've got uh, login modules you want to create a drop down menu a mega menu 
all these are like possible and this you want to create a pricing table you want to create a dynamic uh, slider module with an animated text into it that's also possible and besides that there are a lot of features available in this you can create a countdown timer then you can create up your own custom templates so these templates you can deploy it to almost all the pages of your site so custom templates are possible then you got like paypal integration then you got like uh, your code highlights you want to create a progress bar you want to create up a payment module like square paste paypal stripe all of these are possible in the help of your uh, pro plugins besides that elementor gives you a huge list of plugins which are available for your woocommerce so woocommerce is nothing but the e-commerce engine of uh, wordpress so there we've got like a lot of features all those nitty nitty small things which we normally look in our website all these are made possible with the help of elementor the pro plugin gives you almost it has the versatility to create almost everything in it so it will be easy to create your own product breadcrumbs then you can create your product images related images the products uh, add to cart button right in the place and you got your meta tag addition then you got your uh, short description then you got your uh, additional information related products you'll be also able to see your upsells your my account the custom checkout procedures however you want to try and test all of these are available in your elementor pro version so i would say this is one of the best plugins which are available then you could see some of the basic functions of your wordpress as well these are normally available in your inbuilt wordpress itself creating your post title then creating your post content featured images page titles so these basic features are covered in your free plugin itself then you got your advanced features as in i uh, told earlier about the woocommerce as well as the other engines so these are all the features when it comes to elementor so this is one of the best plugins available in the market so the next plugin that i'm going to see here is about uh, wp bakery so that's another page builder which is available so this is uh, not a free plugin this is like a, a paid plugin we need to buy so there are uh, features which are available to edit the uh, website in the front end as well as in the back end so both the modules are available in it we can edit them on the front end as well as on the back end from the admin panel they also have a huge library of uh, predefined templates and blocks so you can uh, edit from there so this is again like a responsive design it gives you option to uh, maintain up a responsive layout as well then they also have got woocommerce integration so the uh, pros i would say is that they've got a large library of templates and blocks just like uh, elementor and uh, there's a custom code approach where you can add up your own codes then they've got your third party support and stuff the cons i would say is like there's a no uh, free version available of this plugin you just need to uh, get your license first then element styles you need to learn how their uh, interface is deployed once you after uh, you need to learn how their interface is deployed uh, before you start customizing them then the third party add-ons are really limited it's unlike elementor it's really uh, less then the interface is also too cumbersome it's like too much uh, uh, overloaded with a lot of contents so it does like uh, very outdated and the to use this plugin as i said we need to buy the license of it so if you notice here this is the interface of it you'll be able to see them categorized under different titles so you can see all the features available this almost has got everything there in uh, elementor but this is nothing is available in the free version so majority of the features what you saw in elementor they are available here as well so you'll be able to add up your tag clouds or you want to create a pie chart your progress bar you want to create up an faq page you want to create an accordion all of these are made possible with the help of uh, wp bakery as well so um, the next uh, plugin which we'll see here is uh, dv builder so dv builder again this is one of the good uh, editor which is available again this is not a free theme or a free plugin this is a licensed version so you need to acquire the license of it normally theme sellers they bundle this uh, editor alongside with it so we just uh, start creating a child theme and we start creating up your own customizations into it with the help of this so it's a visual builder with live editing that's one of the good feature available you can directly edit the uh, plugin and uh, the page and start seeing the contents they've got their own uh, ready made inset uh, of uh, pre made templates and layouts we've got the inbuilt layouts then you can see the ab testing of pages that's one of the good feature which i would say you can see which layout is like uh, responding more to the user view so there are page layout testings as well so split testings also is available when it comes to testing your site for multiple pages and stuff so again um, i would say this is also a very powerful uh, visual builder as like the other ones then uh, once you buy their license uh, there's a huge list of themes and plugins which are available in elegant themes so elegant themes is nothing but the theme seller of this uh, particular editor and uh, you get to access almost all of their themes and uh, they've got their own uh, 
custom code uh, as well as their uh, pre-built layouts and uh, all the layouts options are available in it. Then uh, the learning of this plugin is like a bit uh, yeah, tedious because it's not very easy like Elementor and there's a limited number of uh, third-party add-ons and uh, you need to get the license to use this plugin. This is not a free plugin to use. And uh, once you see the interface of this, you get to see almost all of these uh, icons which are available here. You get to see all the features which we saw in the other editors to create up uh, accordion or to create up a button or to create up uh, your counters or whatever uh, features which we have in this. So these are the features which are available in Divi. So all in all, I would say like uh, among these three plugins, if I'm going to use the best WordPress uh, page builder uh, plugin for my website, then I'm definitely going to use Elementor. So uh, do leave your comments in this video below. And if you want me to create a fully functional video of uh, Elementor, I will create a video on how to uh, edit up your website using Elementor or how to create a website using Elementor and uh, I'll um, create up a post on that as well. So uh, thanks for watching this video and do share it with your friends. Thank you.